Welcome everybody, Steve here. Today we're working on this Delta belt slash disc sander. And this is a model 31735. And I'm bringing this one to you and I'm gonna ask the question, are you having problems tightening your belt up? Because this machine was a rock star and then all of a sudden the belts were too tight and we weren't able to, to, to bring the handle up to tighten the belt to the proper uh, tightness. Therefore, you know, it would track and it would loosen off. Well, I'm just gonna show you what was going on and what I did to fix that. So if we take the paper out, okay, right there, it's, this is an eccentric and it basically just lifts the uh, roller up and down and at the top there's a stop. Let's just uh, zoom in and I'll give you a little closer look. Okay, we're at the top right now so if I loosen it off everything drops. Put the sandpaper on, you lift it up, clunk. But what was happening was the sandpaper, I don't know what has happened, whether the sandpaper is being manufactured different, maybe to a metric standard where this is a uh, imperial standard, but we could only get the handle to about here. So that allowed for this, you know, after vibration would just loosen off and then, you know, we'd start getting tracking issues. So what was happening, we couldn't get it to the top. So what I did was these arms right here were just a little bit too long, so I built a couple arms that could be adjusted. Let me show you that. Now this is the original arm here, and as you can see it's a little bit longer than what I have now. And I'm not a big fan of, of taking, you could take the original one and drill it out. What I did here is drilled it out and put a bolt in there. But I built a new one. And that way I've always got the original part. And uh, I, I'm, I'm always a believer that, you know, you could modify this, but then it's modified forever. So I needed to shrink this down a little bit. Now you could take and cut this but you need to have that uh, it needs to be right on the money or else your belt could be too loose or it could still be too tight with the adjuster it worked out perfect so now we can put our paper on get to the top of our eccentric and I got the right tension that I need on this belt so being at the top we're not going to have to worry about it loosening off or anything like that. And now it's going to track nice. So if that's an issue with yours, I'm going to show you now how I built these. So we're going to build, I don't know what you want to call those, some supports, but I'm not going to modify these ones because I don't want to wreck the originals. So I got a piece of half inch cold roll here and basically what we have to do is where it hooks on here is about a quarter of an inch thick. So we got to cut a groove a quarter of an inch thick in this. Now it's five eighths of an inch deep. So what I did was I drilled a hole one size smaller than a quarter, right here. One size smaller than a quarter. And I just drew some lines and I'm just gonna use a zip cut, cut that. And then we're just gonna take our time with a file and file it. And then we'll drill that hole. So the whole idea here is to make these shorter. Now it would be easier just to go ahead and grind this off 
make it shorter, but I don't know where the optimum spot is. So what I'm going to do is tap this out and then put a bolt in there and then I can just adjust how long I want this. So that's the thinking. So I've got everything set up here and I want this to be, you know, I want to be able to make this cut right. So I don't think that's the one. No. Nope. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta find my drill bit. Well, that's five minutes of my life. I'm never getting back. It's funny how you just have it in your hand and then you can't find it. Okay, so what I did is I just put my drill bit in here, and I want to make sure that I'm straight up and down, so that when I'm cutting, I'm gonna be cutting straight up and down as well. Take your time, go slow. I'm just using a 10 inch um, flat bastard. This is a double cut. And then just, you always want to keep looking, make sure you got everything straight. Just take your time. Now you could, you know, somebody saying, hey, why don't you just use a grinder? Well, I want it to fit nice. I don't want to slip up. Make a mistake. Okay, just take your time with the file. So I confirmed my measurements in my slot. I want to make sure it's 5 eighths down. And now the perpendicular hole that we have to drill is 3 sixteenths for, uh, for the pin. So what I did was I put a piece of quarter stock in my slot. I got a piece of eighth inch on this side, eighth inch on this side. So I lay that down. I know that that's going to be exactly perpendicular if I get my punch straight up and down. So I got my quarter inch mark. Just gonna get down on my knees. And you'd be surprised at how, uh, how accurate you can get at it with your eye. Get rid of the top. Give it a little tap first. See how you look. That's pretty good. So now we can go to the drill press, drill that out. I'm going to drill a small hole first, and then I'll finish it with 3 sixteenths. Alright, I'm going to drill my small hole all the way through. Take your time. And what I did, I started it this way, and then I turned it this way, because sometimes your uh, drill bit will track a little bit.
Now we'll just drill it back out with the 3 16 Done. Now I just gotta figure out what bolt I'm gonna put on the end and what length I need to cut it at. That'll be the next step. Now I decided to go with a quarter inch fine threaded bolt and I threaded down about three quarters of an inch and uh, that'll be suffice, should work great. Time to install. Now we'll see if it works.